at you again with another video and today we're going to be talking about holy hip hop, we're going to be talking about Christian rap, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, you know all of these uh, subcultures you know that are very prevalent nowadays you know um, you know many different I mean when I'm talking about uh, uh, Christian raving, uh, Christian tattooing, um, Christian pole dancing, yes, that's out there, Christian pole dancing. Uh, you know, there is uh, Christian yoga, um, Christian metal, uh, Christian goth, you know, all of these different types of uh, music, um, subcultures, and forms, forms of expression, they are out there. They are, you know, very popular. And so we have to, as, as saints, we have to ultimately rightly divide the word of truth. We can't just do things and operate in certain ways that are not godly. You know, we as people must, you know, discern to make sure that things are actually of God. You know, the Bible tells us in uh, 1 John, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, it tells us, you know, that we must test the spirits, try the spirits to see if they be of God. Why? Because there are many false prophets that have gone out in the world. And so we must uh, discern and um, know them by their fruits. And so um, this is extremely important. So, um, yeah, jumping right into it. I want to compare two videos, two videos that I have um, come across. Um, the first video is by a Christian hip hop artist named Putin. And I want to compare him to another video um, by a rapper, Pimp C. And Pimp C is actually deceased. He died back in 2007 of a drug overdose in, I believe, a hotel room or something. And um, I want to compare Pimp C's video to a Punt Punt's video. J just in case, I want to give you a little backdrop, just in case you don't know who Pimp C is. <laughs> Pimp C is um, a, well, his name is Chad Butler. Uh, Chad Lamont Butler. And he is one of the two um, UGK members, um, Underground Kings members. He, they established this group back in the um, late 80s and so this group is widely known in the secular hip-hop industry, um, pretty much icons you know, within the secular hip-hop industry. And so everybody knows them on some level and uh, so they're people of influence and so uh, we have this Christian hip-hop rapper named Punton um, who's coming up per se and this guy you know decides to emulate or uh, follow through expression uh, Pimp C and you know and his style and his way of expression and so let's take a look at it but I thank God for his grace man Oh, look. Since the day I was born, I've been screwed up. I'm from the state of Texas where they be screwed up. Okay, okay, so we can see the comparisons here. We can off the bat see how Punton, the holy hip-hop Christian hip-hop rapper, uh, he, all, he off the bat uses the very lyrics of Pimp C. The, the very, the, their, his very first words, you know, his very first few words that come out of his mouth are the very exact words, uh, or uh, except for minor modifications, of the secular hip-hop rapper Pimp C. And so we see a heavy influence that Pimp C, the secular uh, rapper, has over the Christian uh, hip-hop rapper and so um, many people you know uh, 
seem to think this is okay, seem to think that the emulating or the modeling of, um, of the way of the expressions that the rappers in the world express themselves is okay for the same thing for the, uh, in, in reference to the rappers uh, in the Christian circles. You know, and so uh, there are many different phrases and uh, hooks and lingo that are being used that were coined in the world, that were established uh, in the secular hip hop world. Like, for example, how uh, he says in the beginning, um, uh, hold up. Hold up, you know, that that whole thing or uh, that right there is specifically from Pimp C, you know, that phrase there. And uh, another one, the whole screwed up, screwed up, you know, that that coin, that, that doesn't come directly from Pimp C, but that does come from the Texas style hip hop industry. And so that has, that, that should not have anything to do with anyone who is trying to express themselves um, in, in, in any godly way, you know, and so we see great level of compromise again, because we know God is calling us out of the world, you know, uh, for example, in the book of Ezekiel, the Bible lets us know that we have to make a difference between the holy and the profane. Uh, in the book of uh, James, James chapter 1, it tells us right at the end that we have to be unspotted from the world. Uh, in, in the book of Revelations, you know, uh, what, Revelations ch uh, chapter 3 verse 16, it, it, it lets us know, hey, um, I, I wish that you'd be hot or cold, uh, but because you are lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. So there is a divorcing of the world that must happen in order for a Christian to be a Christian, you know, uh, so because we can't be entangled with the things of this life and think we're going to be able to please the master that, uh, you know, enlists us or, or puts us in position, in the positions that we're in. So, um, ultimately, uh, we have to change the way we communicate, change the way we express ourselves. Yeah. Everything must change, you know, and so uh, ultimately we see a great level, great level of compromise, great level of idolatry, and so we as people must uh, refrain from that way of idolatry because that is that will taint the report and the testimony on our lives as Christians. Okay, so up next, I'm going to uh, show you a video by. Uh, holy hip-hop or Christian rapper named Pyrex. And this rapper, uh, he uh, is also from the down south area, not sure where, um, doesn't really matter. But I want to show you um, his video, one of his videos, because this is another example of behavior directly extracted from the world, the directly modeled after the characteristics and likeness and attributes of the world. So we have to not model the world because, of course, uh, the Word of God tells us that if any man love the world, that the love of the Father is not in him. Why is that? Because, you know, Jesus says, um, anyone that loves me will do what I'm, I'm telling them to do, you know. Um, the word tells us in, in 1 John, you know, uh, uh, but whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. And so that is important for us to exemplify the very uh, modeling after Jesus and not modeling after the uh, likeness of certain idols that are in the world. Out to space, I might be out my mind That's what you think, but I'm on my grind Nine to five I do, cause about mine's due With a hard head crew, it's about that time About that time, it's, it's about that time The war bridge, it's about that time Found my way, just follow my light Yeah, people hate, can't knock my fight It's P to the Y, R to the E Double X, Pyrex, that's me Okay, okay, so I know you can see That in this Pyrex video That all of them seem to have Pyrex shirts on not Jesus Save shirts, 
not, um, you know, uh, for God so loved the world shirts, not uh, Jesus is the only way to heaven shirts, but Pyrex shirts. And so this is a problem, you know, in, in a secular hip hop industry to where it is full of idolatry, we see these same characteristics and traits in the Christian or so-called Christian hip hop industry. Uh, a idolatry, if you will, you know, so we have people that are celebrating the main event or the main actor or the main rapper, you know, and so this is not good. This is not good at all. We, we have to be individuals that are modeling and presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice towards Jesus, towards uh, you know, living holy towards walking in such a way that other people will identify me with Jesus and not with, and not with Lil Wayne, and so um, that's that's a big problem. So, let, let, so one thing that we have to understand uh, in the, in this life, one thing we have to understand, especially about communication, is that communication is not just verbal. Communication is the entire image of a thing or a person or the presentation of that person. You know, the entire thing is communication. So I'm not just communicating with my, uh, with the words that are coming out, coming out of my mouth audibly. I'm communicating with everything. I'm communicating with my attire, my clothing. I'm communicating with uh, uh, my form of expression. You know, the way I move, I'm communicating with the audio in reference to like the beats, the hooks, the melody, you know, the way things are put together. I'm communicating with all that. I'm communicating with the very graphics from the video. You know, all of these things are aspects of communication and expression. So if the entire thing is not holy, then we have something uh, that is not of God. The Bible lets us know a little leaven leavens the whole lump. So if we have worldliness in what we are offering up to God, then ultimately that uh, offering is polluted and God doesn't accept it. And so God wants us to be, as the book of James, I said earlier, uh, right at the end, it says unspotted from the world. The next video I want to show you is by a guy named Fro, I believe, F-R-O. And this guy has a video uh, to where he's expressing himself uh, like um, other rappers in the world. You know, he's expressing himself, you know, for example, I believe like uh, Lil Webby or, or, or uh, what's, his, what's his name? What's the other guy? What's Lil Webby's partner, par partner's name? Um, uh, uh, Lil Boosie. He's expressing himself like Lil Boosie or Lil Webby, you know, and so we cannot express ourselves like the fallen idols of the world, like the fallen, fallen examples of the world, because these examples are not examples that are leading people to Christ. They're leading people away from Christ. We can do the deal. House up on the hill. Give your gang of women pounds of weed and bags of pills. That sound great. That sound good. But the only problem is it's burning like some wood. Better watch them though. Very okay. of your And so again, we have examples of idolatry, examples of the copying of the world, copying of the image, of the style, of the expression, of, of the vehicle, you know, the, the vehicle style, the big rims, the, the, the paint, and the, he seems to put the Jesus on there, and he believes that maybe that justifies the car. But no, that does not justify the car. Just putting the words Jesus on something doesn't justify that thing. You see, God delights in transformation. Why? Because we as individuals have our own perspectives when we are in the world. He wants us to undergo a transformation process. You know, and that transformation process 
you know, matures us and, and transforms us to the degree that we are remade after his holiness rather than the image of the world. Not only that, but we see there are dancers in the video, and the dancers in the video are expressing, um, uh, you know, miming. They, they're, they're, they're expressing miming to where they have their face paint, painted, they're, they're wearing white gloves, and so this miming um, is another form of worldly expression that has nothing to do with Christ Jesus. And so God wants to, to want us to be reborn because there are spiritual manifestations that manifest from our allegiance to the expressions of the world. So if we continue to express ourselves like the world, what will be the result of these things? And so we have to um, uh, think about these things, you know. See, the thing is, is that what Jesus comes to do is Jesus comes to redeem people. Jesus doesn't come to redeem the fallen attributes of man. Jesus doesn't come to redeem the fallen subcultures of man or the fallen mainstream cultures of man. Jesus came to redeem people. And so this is where people are confused because they think that they can redeem um, um, hip hop. They think they can redeem um, rave. They think they can redeem tattoos. They think they can redeem metal and, and all forms of other uh, secular, very uh, evil and secular forms of expression. And so uh, let's take a look at another video. This is the last video I'm going to show. And this video is by uh, a Christian hip hop rapper named Andy Minio. And there's uh, a couple other rappers, I believe, within the video. And so this video is also expressing certain behaviors. And so take a look. When the saints come marching in, we roll so deep that they can't believe we sold out seats in them CDs. Please don't sleep on the beat. I beat up these. Still don't get it what you keep up, please. We ain't no heroes for selling. You're one better keep your receipts. Okay, I get it. I know what they're thinking. We some kumbaya singing. Corny Christians, keep your dishes by a ticket. Okay, alright. So we can clearly see the many different expressions, the many different uh, uh, ways in which the video was presented, you know, that definitely just show, that definitely shows us that this video is not from the Lord God. Uh, it has nothing to do with Jesus. It has everything to do with the exaltation of individuals rather than the exaltation of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, so this is one of the main issues of holy hip hop, of Christian rap of uh, Christian um, tattoos or, or, or Christian metal or, or holy goth or, or any of these uh, um, subcultures. The, the main issue with these subcultures are the exaltation of the individual rather than the exaltation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can tell in how these individuals express themselves. Uh, another thing would be, um, what makes rap so bad in the first place? You know, why rap? Like, what's so bad about the way they are expressing themselves? Well, rap in itself is defiled. Rap is something that is not godly. It is actually sinful. Um, uh, let me explain, let me explain. Uh, rap is a defiled form of poetry. That's what rap is. Rap is a polluted form of poetry. And so, uh, in the same way that, for example, like twerking, you know, twerking, in the same, that, in the same way that, that twerking is a defiled form of dance, is in the same way that rap is a defiled form of poetry. And uh, in the same way that uh, fornication, sex outside of marriage, is a defiled form of sex, is in the same way that rap is a defiled form of poetry. This is the issue. The issue is the love for the world. 
the love for the world. That's what it's all about. There is an affirmation for the parent culture, which is secular hip hop, that the subculture, holy hip hop, must acquire in order for it to feel justified or just as good. You know, so this is an issue. It's an issue because we have uh, the subculture, the the underdog rappers, if you will, needing uh, measures of affirmation from the parent uh, hip hop culture. And the hip hop culture knows it. They're the one who have the, the, the riches, they have the, 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 the title, they have the fame, they have you know, the reputation and all of that. And so we have the subculture which is wanting and desiring these things. And so this is the problem. Why are we desiring the things of the world? Why are we not desiring the affirmation and the exaltation that Jesus can give us. And so it's easily seen, for example, for example, you know, uh, just some of the issues that we see is, you know, there are videos, you know, all over YouTube uh, showcasing the speed of the rapper, we did, as we just saw in uh, as we just saw in Andy Minio's video, him rapping all fast and rapping fast. It's, 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 um, it, there's a competitive aspect to it, you know, and we see on, on YouTube, you can look this up yourself, you can actually see how they have secular um, fast rappers uh, versus the Christian you know, fast rappers, and so you have this versus this uh, this uh, duel going on, and so the reason why is because we see this affirmation that the subculture of Christian hip hop is looking from the parent, looking for from the parent culture, uh, regular secular hip hop, and so this is a shame because we see the very love for the world being exemplified in their actions. Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. Rap itself has an image. And so this is what God wants us to be separated from. This is what God wants us to be transformed in our minds about so that we don't articulate the fallen image of the world. And so God wants us to be born again. Jesus has clearly said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Uh, he also said, except a man be born of the water, uh, that's water baptism, and of the spirit, uh, the fire baptism of the Holy Ghost, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So God wants us to be born again in the fullest, in the fullest extent of what that is. So being born again is ultimately a spiritual awakening to where you are connected with God's spirit. You are spiritually woken. The way you see the world does is not the same anymore. The way you see yourself is not the same anymore. The way you um, live life and express yourself is not the same anymore. You are in tune with God um, to such a degree and you are growing in your uh, sharpness with God. You're growing in your, your discernment, you grow in understanding, and that's through the exercising of the things of God, exercising by walking in the Spirit, you know, um, exercising love, joy, peace, long suffering, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, meekness, self control, temperance. All of these things we have to uh, exemplify you know, on a daily basis. And of course, you know, one of the most important parts of walking in the Spirit is actually listening to the Holy Ghost, listening to the Spirit of God, you know, paying attention to the things around you, watching how the hand of God is orchestrating the things around you and um, revealing um, His self to you so that you can ultimately be led in the direction that you should go. So, 
I hope this video was helpful. Um, God loves you and God wants the best for you. He wants you to divorce the world, <laughs> to disassociate yourself with the world, to completely remove the expressions, the ungodly expressions of the world from you because these things don't, aren't working out for your good. These things aren't for your best. These things ultimately want to keep you handicapped and handcuffed. We want uh, your freedom and of course the Lord Jesus Christ wants your ultimate freedom so trust in Jesus and not in your own understanding the Bible says in Proverbs that we lean not to our own understanding but in all of our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our path so again this is brother Ron much love hope you have a blessed day or blessed evening or blessed whatever time of the day depending on wherever you are around the world. God, God loves you. I love you. Uh, uh, share, comment, post, uh, repost, you know, uh, and, and everything. So um, God loves you. Be blessed. Walk in victory.